Hey, what's up? It's Boss. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crack key growing container out of an old drink shaker. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're going to need a couple of things. We need a cocktail shaker. This one came from a Kahlua gift set years ago. It's a three-piece shaker. So it has a lid that if we were going to be germinating a seed in here, I would keep this so that I could use it as a dome, a humidity dome. It has a strainer piece. So this has holes in it. That's hopefully going to work as our net cup. I'm going to wing it this time, guys. I haven't done this before. And then we have the base, which will be our reservoir for our nutrients. So the other things that we're going to need, um, in this case, I'm going to put a seedling in here. I happen to have a tray of seedlings that I had going for my uh, indoor grow after I moved everything outside for the summer. And so I think I'm going to take this guy here. It is a chocolate ghostly jalapeno. Yeah, that's right. Chocolate ghostly jalapeno. Um, so it's crossed between a ghost and a jalapeno. It happens to be a chocolate variety. Um, I love these little tools. They're great for pulling seedlings out. So I'm going to try and get most of the seed starting mix off of the roots here. You can see this has a nice root structure. Um, so that's going to go really well for a crack key style grow. Those long roots will hopefully be able to feed right through those holes so that it doesn't have to figure out its way through. Um, and then what I'm actually going to do in this case, I don't have any uh, just pure cocoa left, cocoa core, which I would use to pack in there around this to give it a little support. Um, I do have some seed starting mix, which is really just uh, peat moss, cocoa, and vermiculite. So that'll work fine as kind of an inert material to hold this in place. So I have my seedling ready to go. I'm not too worried that it's got a little bit of stuff on the roots here still, as long as we can feed those through. Got my shaker. I'm going to go ahead and grab the seed starting mix so I have it handy and then try and feed these roots through. So the trick here is really going to be to make sure I get roots going through these holes without damaging them. Um, <laughs> it's not going to be super easy. You know, they're not real thick or well developed as in hardy roots yet. Um, so I'm going to have to try and get one close to get started. It wants to stick to the side of this. All right. And then I'm actually going to take my little tool here, see if that'll work to help me guide it through. Of course, it's a little too big. So pause a second. I'm going to grab um, another tool to help make this easier. Okay. So I'm going to try and use this tool here, see if this makes this a little easier. Um, it's just a whole poking tool for planting seeds. You can use it to guide that root through. Perfect. That worked a lot better. You probably can't see it, but I can't do that and point it at the camera, I don't think. I'm going to start to pull that through a little bit. And then I'm just going to go here and continue to find ends of roots. Push them through holes. And try and get this ready to rock. Okay, I have managed to get most of the roots through holes, so that's about ready. I'm going to fill this in with some seed starting mix just to get a little bit of support. Um, again, you could use anything. You could use cocoa. You could use uh, little bits of rock wool to hold it in place. You could spill your soil all over the table instead of getting it in the pot. The goal here is really just to give it some sort of a substrate or media to support it. This isn't going to be for feeding it or anything like that. That'll all come from the hydroponic nutrient that we'll put in the bottom part of the container. Okay. So this is 
packed in there, not too tight. Again, we're just trying to give it a little support. Hopefully it'll grow some strong roots through the rest of the holes in the bottom and it will be ready to uh, support itself just through its root system. So let's set this down for a second. I'm going to go fill this up with a little bit of hydroponic nutrient. What I've got here is uh, about a half strength grow formula, hydroponic nutrient. So I diluted it about halfway with water. I want to be somewhat aware of where the bottom of my little net cup is here as to how far I can fill this thing. Um, it's going to be an interesting challenge because I can't really go above this, otherwise it'll leak out. So there's going to be a pretty good about oh, one inch air gap there right off the bat. So hopefully these roots will get enough of that hydroponic nutrient up to the plant that it'll survive. It's going to be a little messy because I went high and it's a pressure fitting. But I wanted to minimize... Oh, it didn't really leak out. Uh, I wanted to minimize that air gap as much as possible while it's a young plant. Um, it doesn't have a ton of root contact here into the hydroponic nutrient, but it's pretty good. There's a good inch of root underwater and a good inch of root um, in the airspace. Because the seed starting mix is so dry, I am actually going to moisten it real quick with just a little bit here to help keep that uh, root zone humid, but not necessarily soaking wet, right? So I'm going to let that soak in for a few minutes, and then we're pretty much ready to go. I'm going to keep an eye on the plant itself, make sure that it's getting enough nutrient from its limited root contact here. Um, as those roots grow down, it should help the plant grow up. But I'm, I'm kind of kind of excited about this one. It's a fun little project. If you have an old cocktail shaker laying around, um, maybe you want to find out first if this works. So uh, <laughs> I'll post some updates uh, along the way on my Instagram. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and check it out. It's at Boss Grows. I'll leave a link below. Uh, but this is really all there is to it. Simple, crappy container using an old cocktail shaker I had laying around. So this is about ready to go under the grow lights. I'm gonna go put it in the tent. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and hit like, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you wanna check out uh, some more great gardening content on how to grow hydroponically, in soil, in cocoa, indoors, outdoors. Um, you can also see me taste test a lot of spicy peppers or hot sauces, so until next time, peace. So y'all can watch this growing journey on my way to be a botanist. I got this garden game on my kid. You should spice it up and grow like bosses.